Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed and I got a fun new box in with a Designer Crafts Connections from Marabou Crafts. So let's open it up and take a look. So Marabou has been in Europe for the past 150 years selling and it's a major crafting uh, supplier for all different kinds of stuff. And I actually ran into them at Creativation 2018 as I was walking around doing some of the pre-video setups. The link to the Creativation videos are up in the corner and I happened to run into them and I, as I was walking around, I was asking, and they had a ton of different stuff. I mean, they've got stuff to paint on porcelain. They have fabric. They have mixed media stuff. I mean, they kind of have the whole gambit, and they're here in the United States. And with the Designers Crafts Connections, we are actually going to be creating using their porcelain paint. So I got four pens. Those are kind of fun colors. So this one is a porcelain and glass uh, paint marker. It's kind of cool. This one is in... I was looking for the color written on there, but it doesn't have it. So we're going to go with just the colors. So we have like a lime green, we have an orange, we have a black, and then kind of this fun green. But on here, as I was looking for where the colors are, it says that the ink is actually made in Germany, which is pretty darn fun. So we got those. I also got a little handout that talks about how to, you can use this on porcelain and glass. And just look at all the fun new things that are in here. So you can actually paint with it on porcelain glass. And when I was reading this stuff online before I pulled this up, I noticed that you don't have to fire it. It air dries and it is dishwasher safe. So that is pretty fun. So I'm going to open this up. So here it says water-based, light, fast, dishwasher without curing. I mean, that's pretty darn awesome. Made in Germany. So inside this box, I got a paintbrush. And I got a whole bunch of these really cute little paints. So I've got a blue, I have another, this is apple. I wonder if these are similar, if they're a little different. I also have, this just says white. Um, here is black. And then we have cherry and sunshine yellow. Let's actually try these out. Let's see what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna try the pens and we have, I have a little porcelain tile that we're going to practice on, but I'm going to put a craft mat down first because I don't want to get my nice new background. I don't want to get my uh, mat all gross. So I'm sure with any paints, it all depends on the humidity level. So I was just reading some of the information that says it takes about 30 minutes to the point where you can touch it, but it needs three days to basically air cure before you want to put it in the dishwasher and actually use it. So it's definitely usable for your glasses and your cups and your drinks and your mugs and things like that. So let's try out one of these fun colors first. Let's try the yellow. And we're just going to see how it paints on the thickness of it. Now, one of the other things it says to make sure you don't get air bubbles in it, don't shake it, just stir it. So I'm just going to stir a little bit. And it feels very much like an acrylic paint, a little bit of a thinner acrylic paint. So when I paint this on, it's a very, very thin application. So if I want to have a really thick coat, I would need to come in and really apply quite a bit of the paint. There we go. So as long as I get enough. So it gives you a couple of different options of what you want to do. You want a really thick um, feel you can kind of you can I guess you kind of draw on here if you wanted to with like a pencil or something so I can leave it as a big blob or I can leave it as a streak and kind of give it like a washed look it really depends on which you want to go the washed look I'm guessing would cure a lot faster or dry a lot faster whereas this big blob that I created it would take a lot longer so I'm just gonna kind of clean off my brush real fast all right, so it didn't really take much to get it on a paper towel. I just used it. I don't want to get it overly wet. I'm going to try the blue just to see a difference in how it looks. A little air bubble in there. I'm just going to pop. Really pretty colors. So here is just kind of a streaking. Just kind of giving myself a little bit of a template kind of per se of what the colors look like for a few of these. That's fun. So if I don't want to see the streaks, I would definitely need to... I kind of like this streak, so it gives it kind of a neat effect. I like the feel of that. I'm sure I could use all different kinds of brushes. Um, you don't want to do small strokes unless you want to create a design with that, which would be kind of fun. So because it's kind of a, a looser paint, you could have fun by creating texture, or you can do long strokes. You know, if I push down more, it gives it a different feel versus if I kind of pick up the paint or if I push down and apply more paint. Lots of different options there, which is pretty fun. And again, you can kind of pull it up if you wanted to. You can create a thicker area. And they also said it's blendable. So let's try that now. I've got my paint there. I'm going to pour a little of the green just because I don't want to clean my paintbrush. So I'm just going to add a little dot. 
of the green just to blend it. I just want to see what this is all about. Well, that's cool. So one of the things I read is that it is very blendable with all the colors you can create. So this is your basic palette, but if I take these two colors, I can create pink. Obviously, if I take these two colors, I'm going to create a purple. I can create gray. I can have all kinds of fun mix and matching the paints and creating new colors here. So I'm going to take a big blob of this. And there it is. It's kind of a new color. The blue that was underneath is already starting to kind of dry a little bit. I'm having to kind of reactivate it by um, moving it around some. So it definitely has a drying factor. I bet I could also go over top and create like a a multi-layer, which would be kind of fun. So I'm starting to pull the color off, so you'd have to be very careful. Maybe let it dry for an hour and then come in and add a layer of color over top. But that's cool. See how it's kind of a mixture, like here's the green, but then here's the green and the blue. It definitely is a mixture between the two. So if you had a paint palette, you could um, combine the two together. All right, I'm gonna clean my brush off and then we're gonna see what these things are all about. Almost got a little sunrise action going on there. <laughs> I'm just playing around. I really have no agenda right now um, about how to get this started. Now, whenever you're doing any of these, it first says shake well, push, and then draw. So you have to activate it. So you really want to shake your pens well. And then I'm going to activate it actually onto my paper towel here so I don't make a big mess. So you can already start to see a little bit of the tip coming in. You just got to get it going. Shake it a little bit, get it going, get that paint flow, and then here it is coming onto my paper towel. And then once it gets going, you're probably okay. I want a little more. I want to make sure my nib is fully saturated. Okay, and then now I can come in. Oh, no, that's cool. Look at that. You can get super good detail. So I can write. I can do hearts. I can draw images. This would be fun for kids. I can see that. I can definitely, and it's got, I can color it in. That, these are fun. Look at that. I can do, you can write your name. Completely forgot my eye there. <laughs> so you can really have all kinds of fun. I'm gonna activate one more. I just wanna see what the green feels like. So I've done this green here, and I wanna see how similar the color is between the two colors of green. All right, so I went ahead and activated all three of these pens. And what I first noticed as I was comparing the greens, this is a fine tip nib compared to this guy. So the orange I used, it says on here one to two millimeters, whereas this one says 0.8. And just as a size comparison, oh, let me get, you know, I've gotten enough. Oh, here we go. Look how small that is. And it writes beautifully. I really, I, got, I can't go sideways. I have to hit it up and down because it's such a fine nib point. So as I come in, I really have to make sure I'm on the top. But look how cool that is. And as a comparison for color, yeah, these two are the same color, except this isn't a fine tip point versus this is one a big liquid. So the light green is in this big nib. And this one I actually can turn sideways because the nib is big enough that I don't need to worry about the fact that it's not going to be elsewhere. But again, I can get good, fun quality images on here. And then with the black one, I got, again, a fine tip. So I can't come sideways, so I can't write like I normally would write. I have to come in right on top and write vertically. But that's cool. I mean, look how easy that is. I mean, it's just gliding on like no problem. I love that. So these are some pretty cool new pens and also liquid paints that, oops, didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. This was just a tester tile. I'm actually going to, I'm going to let this dry. And I'm going to give it, I have to go get my kids from school. I'm going to come back at least a half an hour just to see where it's at. And let's come back and check to see what this looks like in about a half an hour. So I've let this sit for 30 minutes while I went and picked up my kids from school. And all of this is completely set. Now, it's not dishwasher ready yet, but it's the point where I rub my finger around it. The only one that's not, it's this really thick batch where I put the yellow. It's still really, really wet. So that would probably take maybe another 30 minutes to an hour. But if you're going to let it sit for three days, I would probably give this a little bit longer if you're going to give it a really, really thick coating on there. Thanks so much, Marabou, for the fun paints. We're doing a hop with the Designers Craft Connection or the DCC for February. So make sure you come back and take a look um, towards the end of the month for this fun blog hop. I'm also doing a video on how to use all these really cool porcelain and glass paints. So thanks so much. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys again later. Bye-bye.